In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I'm going to show you a really, really cool name card trick. Hello and welcome to episode 50 of my Working With Evernote series. Yes indeed, we've actually hit episode 50 already. Okay, and in this week's episode, I've got a really, really cool trick that you can use with Evernote. And that is taking full advantage of Evernote's feature of OCR, which is Optical Character Recognition Technology. Essentially what we're doing is we're going to be scanning a name card and allowing Evernote to do its stuff and it will collect the data from that name card. It will store it obviously in Evernote, but one more thing, it will send it to your contacts list as well. Now, I need a little bit of help because all I have is iOS devices. I don't have any Android devices to test to see if this feature is available on Android. So if any of you Android users out there can help me out here, if you do know whether this feature is available on Android, then please could you just leave a comment in the comment section below? And that will really help all the viewers to be able to check to see if this feature is available on Android. One more thing before we go into this, this is an Evernote paid feature. So if you're using the free version of Evernote, I'm very sorry, this is not going to be a feature you can take advantage of. But hey, if you've already got to episode 50 of my Working With Evernote series, then I think it's probably about time that you did move on to a paid version of Evernote. But of course, if you prefer not to, and it still works fine for you, then don't worry about it. Okay, so let's get straight into this so that you can see this wonderful feature from Evernote and see if this can really help your productivity system. Okay, so here we have a name card that I used to use. It's one of my old name cards for a, a company that I was working with at one point. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Evernote and um, wait a minute okay I've opened up Evernote and if you press on the plus button at the bottom and hold it you get the choice of audio photo and reminder so in this case we're going to go into photo like that and I'm going to get my phone and I'm just going to hold it there it's capturing and there we go it's captured the name card and look what happens Evernote recognizes that it's a name card and it's already used its OCR technology to actually capture that task. It's also recognized it as a business card, as you can see there. So now all I have to do is hit the save button and it will save the information. So I can email my contact information directly, my contact di information directly to the person who I sent this, whose name card it is, well in this case it's mine, so obviously I don't need to do that. I can now go back to my camera and I can actually um, take another picture if I was given, if, say if I was at a conference, I could do this in one batch or I can click done and there we go. And the name card, has now been collected and as you can see it's picked up my name and business card and it's picked up title uh, it didn't pick up n1 but it's actually got my correct uh, email address so that's basically how we actually capture the name card it's really really quite simple now <clears throat> the next stage is to have a look in the settings of Evernote so that you can actually get to see where to turn this function. Okay, so once we've got the notes, uh, the note in like this, what we do is uh, we can go into account, and if you go into settings, and if you look in here, you've got camera, audio, notebooks, manage tags, blah, blah, blah. Over here, if you click on the camera, and you've got down at the bottom there, business cards, click on that, and you have a number of options. So here you can connect your LinkedIn profile. You can use your LinkedIn profile, select my info from contacts, 
or type in your info is entirely up to you. Notebook, I have it set as none, but actually it should be set as my inbox. So that's done. Um, tag, I would possibly, you could tag it as a name card if you want at this stage and it would save you a lot of time. Uh, and it does kind of make sense um, to do it that way. And I would probably, actually now that I've had a look at that, I probably will. But the most important button is this one at the bottom here. It says save to contacts. You need to make sure that that is turned on. That will then save your name card and the details that it's collected from the name card uh, into your contacts uh, information. And it's one of those things that can save you so much time. So really that's all I wanted to tell you about this feature today. It is a short episode I know, but it's one of those wonderful features in Evernote. Uh, so just keep that in mind is to do the name card, you double, let's just go back into my notes. So just to give you a quick review, you click on, hold down the plus button, you click on the camera like this, you, let's bring the name card back in, you take a picture of the name card, there we go. This phone is heavy, hang on. I'm just gonna, there we go. It's got, <laughs> took a while to get that there. It will pick up the details, there we go. And you can save it as a business card. I'm not going to save it because I've already done it. So let's come out of this and sorry, go back into it. Um, so we wanna go back, let's cancel that. Um, and then in settings, make sure that you, in settings, make sure that you have your uh, camera, business cards, and then turn on save to contacts. Okay, I hope you found this episode useful. Don't forget to join me again in the next episode where I will give you some more tips on using Evernote. But for the rest, I just wish you all a very, very productive week. Mm -hmm.